Mac Davis on the road again with road trip. And with me right now is the five time, five time, five time, five time, five time WCW champion, Booker T. How are you? Hey, man, it's awesome, man, being here at the International Wrestling Hall of Fame. Um, you know, I'm, I'm humble. I'm just so humble to be here because, you know, something like this, it keeps people like myself around forever, you know, and that's something I never imagined or dreamt in a million years. Somebody thinking about a kid from South Park, Texas, you know, all around the world here in Albany, New York, New York. Uh, the fans in the New York area are like perfecto, numero uno, um, as far as wrestling fans go. So I'm just proud and humble to be here. Let me ask you now, we're talking about the Hall of Fame, but uh, just last year, Charmel yeah. went into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Out of curiosity, since you've already been in there and you watch your wife go in, what went through your mind watching her go in? Man, um, you know, I was just happy that she had her moment, you know, because Charmel has been kind of like that quiet, unsung hero in the business. Ever since back in the WCW days, people don't really think about it. You know, she was in the same class as Randy Orton and Batista and all those guys. I didn't know that. I mean, I, a lot of people don't realize that. Uh, and then she played a pivotal role um, with me um, as King Booker. I don't. I, I really don't think I could have played that role without her. I don't think I would have been, you know, as successful as I was playing that role without her. So, you know, coming back for reunions, her name never get called or anything like that. But to, to get the ultimate call to go into the Hall of Fame. It pretty much was icing on the cake for and I was just, you know, I was, I was pretty happy. You know, there's a lot of things that you do, and uh, you do a lot of things right now. You're here for a, a cause, actually. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, man, Wrestling for the Innocence Project. You know, um, Anthony um, DePippo, you know, somebody who has a story, you know, to tell um, someone who was wrongly for, uh, convicted, uh, spent 20 years in prison, um, finally got exonerated, um, which you know, it's awesome, but now he's in a position where he's, you know, trying to help. And for me to help him, you know, it's, it's it just, it's only, it's only only the right thing to do. Um, I, I do it from my heart and, and to see um, what he's trying to do, it just motivates me so much more with what I'm, what I'm doing. And um, that's why I'm here. You know, um, it's all about trying to bring someone up um, uh, more than anything. I do a lot of work with Teddy Long. Uh, Teddy and I do a show called After Hours. And one of the things that I'm curious about is how was Teddy on the road? Did you have a lot of dealings with Teddy? Oh, man, I had, like, major dealings with Teddy <laughs> all the time, man. You know, Teddy always was a mentor um, for me. Yes. Uh, Teddy was always a guy who, Teddy went through the trenches. He got in his business the hard way. You sure did. Um, you know, setting up the ring, you know, had to go through, a, you know, a whole lot more than I did from a racism perspective and he weathered that storm for people like me and to, 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 to sit under the learning tree of Teddy Long for all of these years. May, he may not have known I was studying uh, the whole time but and taking it all in but everything Teddy Long said along this pretty much 30 year ride that I've been on has been soaked in like a sponge and I appreciate everything um, that Teddy Long went through get someone like me here yeah teddy is a mentor of mine has been for a couple years now i've been working with him even in texas which i know you're down. what oh, part yeah. of texas are you actually I'm in houston yeah. houston mm -hmm. we uh we do a lot of things right out of the dallas mm -hmm. area yeah, and yeah. uh rodney of course rodney mack with san antonio so a lot of great wrestling down in texas reality of wrestling how do people find you oh uh, man uh, go to realityofwrestling.com i'm checking us out on youtube become a part of a 600 plus k followers our subscribers actually on youtube we're trying to get to a million trying to become the biggest independent wrestling promotion anyone has ever seen out there and um, um we're looking for we're always looking for um talent we're always looking for students of course you can find me at um, booker t5x on twitter and instagram also so uh, i'm out there always available when i'm available booker i appreciate it very much bro Thanks, sir